Hi gamers! A lot of Final Fantasy XIV players aren't aware of what the controller is capable of doing. They feel the console version of the game lacks critical functionality or feel like they have too many abilities for their hotbars, when in fact they aren't using the settings they have available to them to their full potential. You can have 32 abilities showing on the screen at one time, plus an additional 16 hidden ones that appear when needed. The basic 16 are accessed by pressing L2 or R2 and pressing the directional pads and action buttons. These actions should be prioritized to be your core rotations plus any other actions or abilities that you press often in combat. The second, or top 16, are accessed by double tapping L2 or R2, though there are options that can change both how these bars are accessed and whether they stay open manually or return to the original bars automatically after input. These actions should be secondary priority actions and abilities, such as ones that have a cooldown, are situational, or are utility like sprint or roll actions. Though it doesn't take you long to access this menu, anything you put up here might have a short delay, so that's why this is my recommendation. The final sets are accessed by holding L2 and pressing R2, or by holding R2 and pressing L2. Because this menu takes a bit more effort to get to, I'd recommend putting things on these bars that you use less frequently. For example, Mount Roulette, Dig, Repair, Macro, Waymarks, or Ready Checks are some good ones to consider for these slots. As you can see here, the ability or item name appears over top of the icons themselves on the bar. Through the options menu, you can remove this, but even an experienced player like myself can find them useful to have around, so I suggest you leave them on unless they are severely in your way. All controller settings are in your character configuration menu under hotbar settings. This is also where you can easily toggle between mouse and keyboard layout and gamepad layout, for people who like the utility of being able to flip between both. Just know that this only affects hotbar placement and style, you can still use both a mouse and keyboard in gamepad mode to make typing and moving windows easier. On the custom menu, you can enable the expanded controls as I have done by ensuring these boxes are checked. You can also set which hotbar appears in each slot. This is important because, on the next tab, Sharing, you can determine which hotbars are shared between classes and which ones are for each class to set on their own. This means that if you would like the top right hotbar to be shared between all of your classes and have your mount, sprint, and limit break on it in the same place across all of them, you can do that. Your muscle memory would thank you. Just note that your shared hotbars are shared between all classes, not just combat ones. But there is a way to copy and paste hotbars between classes, and I'll let you in on that one shortly. On the display screen, you can choose cosmetic options such as to hide unassigned slots or how to display the recast timers on your abilities, either small numbers in the left corners or larger in the center so you don't miss it. The hotbars listed here allow you to show other on-screen hotbars in the event that you also have a mouse. You can set all of these to off if you are exclusively controller, or turn on to like I did to put at the side here. Remember to always check the sharing tab to ensure that only the hotbars you want to be shared between classes are being shared. Hotbars in this context are the mouse ones here, and cross hotbars are the ones for controller here. On the cross tab, you enable the cross hotbar. You can also choose how to access it. Hold means you have to continually hold in the L2 or R2 buttons to access the hotbar, while toggle means you press it once and it will stay on until you press it off. While there are players who swear by either of these options, I use the hold option because I believe it allows me greater control. I've done 12 hour streams on controller, so I'm used to it, but if you're finding it difficult to keep the trigger pressed for that long, try out the toggle function. There is also a mixed option for the truly adventurous. The cross hotbar display type can increase or decrease the number of slots available based on whether you want directional pad or directional pad plus action bars. The display settings allow you to either always display the top bar or to only display it when accessed. It can also allow you to return immediately to the bottom bar when you've pressed a button on the top one. For the record, I've turned the option on for this video and have tried it for about two weeks now and I don't like it. It makes it very frustrating if you have multiple items on the top that you would like to press at one time, like rotating buffs, or things that you would press repeatedly, like Thalic's favor for fishing. I recommend not checking this box to start. Positioning your top bar separately allows you to go into the HUD layout and change its position on the screen. Because you will still access this hotbar the same way, it's a good idea not to move it too far from where it was. 
The input timer allows you to shorten or widen the period of time you have to double tap your trigger buttons in order to activate the top bar. Unless you're a pro with lightning reflexes, don't turn this down or you will likely be unable to access your top bar. Going into the HUD layout allows you to change the positioning and scale of your hotbars to whatever works best for you. I've done it quickly here by mouse, but it's definitely possible with a controller too. Oh, and for anyone still hoping I'd tell you the secret to copying hotbars between classes, it's this. If you're using the mouse keyboard layout, just change cross hotbar to hotbar. And one last tip for the apricotters out there. Though you can use R1 to cycle through your hotbars, it's easier to hold in R1 and press your action buttons and directional buttons to quickly select the hotbar of your choice. And if you liked these tips, check out these 5 pro tips I wish I had learned sooner. Thank you to my patrons and gamers, I'll see you in game.